Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode I want to do something a little bit wonky and also crazy, namely building the tallest vehicle possible. Maybe not possible, but a really tall vehicle. But it's probably gonna be a lot of fun instead of being thought through like the calculator tutorial for instance. However, what we have here is a platform and this is going to be the size of our vessel. Since we are going up really high, we probably need like six legs and they need to be spread apart far enough for this to be, you know, kind of stable. I mean, if this kind of works out, we can still attempt to do it with a smaller platform. However, we are going to attach wheels probably around this area. So we're going to have some of them right here and then I kind of need to measure out the distance here. So let's go in 16 blocks like so and another 16 like so and then we kind of need to find the center which I think is right here. So I would say we are going to make this the front of the vessel so we can also have like an asymmetrical pattern for the wheels. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have my second pair of wheels right here or my second pair. I mean my third pair but they're gonna be kind of closer together at the back end. Okay nice let's actually go ahead and set up a bunch of wheels. No we can do that only in the very end. Oh geez this is gonna be oh man I'm really looking forward to this now. This is gonna be wonky as hell. Okay we want to make the legs out of these pipes. I just love these pipe structures. And what we basically want to set up is something like this. We are gonna set up a bearing here, have a pipe lead up, and we want to build this up fairly high. Hmm, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt to build this like so. Maybe I should use a different thing than the pipes, something that we can set up like in blocks. But I don't really like the choices you have. Yeah, for our own sake we're just gonna do it with bricks so that we can do something like this. We can go up 16 blocks and this way we can easily build this. We just have to add a bearing on each side and we can add up to 10 bearings I guess. We could go even more but with 10 bearings we would have total control over the sequence and the angles of this thing. Okay there we go we have the last two this is the ninth and the 10th bearing. Great okay we could do something like this. And then right here we would have to attach the wheel. So we could lift this baby up like, what is this, 10 times 16, so 160 blocks. Hmm, it might not be as much as I wanted to, however we need to test this. Let's go ahead and attach a controller. We're gonna do this uh, nearby here. And we need to hook this up in sequence so that we have total control over it. Okay, so what we probably want to happen is this going into the other direction. We want to primarily make this turn towards the outside. Yes, and then we might have to test a few settings. So if we turn this 180 degrees and at the same time turn this 180 degrees, this might, oh yeah, this might work out. Let's try this out. 180 and 180. I actually also want to install something else here just to prevent major lag spikes. We want to set up like little stands of three blocks are enough actually to not make the contraption lag when it is on the ground without wheels. So there we go. Now we can remove this bad boy and we should be able to like use a and we should be able to like use a switch which we're gonna attach right here hook this up to this bad boy and then we use it there we go oh yes this might actually work out if I do it a little bit slower and of course with all the wheels oh my gosh let's do it really slow just so that we can observe a little bit better yes yes oh this will work out guys, right? We just have to do this for like all the sides here. Let's actually see what happens if we set this all up. I mean it will be going really fast if we do all at the same time. Maybe we should do them like in pairs. However, I still want to test it out because it's gonna be fun. Well, let's have a proper look from it like so. And oh yeah, that's... <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, that's not working out. We have to do them, you know, in steps. Give me that back, please. We want to place it right here. Now let's check out the controller again. So what we want to do is do two together. So one in the positive and one in the negative. 
and only after that we are gonna do the next pair. I think this will work out better. There we go. Yeah, I think I got it right this time. We are gonna release you from your bonds once again and click this button. No, misclick. There we go. And yes, yes, yes. Okay, imagine that happens with all four. Okay, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh no, I cannot reach the switch anymore. <laughs> Oh guys, this is gonna be horrible. I think we are tall enough though. We don't have to go any crazier, you know? Let's see if we can fold it back in. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Okay, let me actually rinse and repeat that for all the wheels, just so that we can test it out a little bit better. Of course, like this, it will not work out. Be right back. And there we go. I attached the system for all of the wheels that I want to attach. And before we attach the actual wheels, I would suggest we are gonna do a little attempt. I already hooked up a button to everything and it's probably gonna be best to observe this from a driver's seat. Don't you think? I think so. So we're just gonna hook up this driver's seat to the button. We're gonna hop in here, zoom back a little bit and we need to release it from the platform. Kima, let me do that. Oh, don't crush my head. Okay, nice. So far, so good. The terrain might not be the best in order to test this out. However, we're still gonna do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so far, actually not so bad. I'm really surprised. I thought this would end in much of a greater disaster. Okay, it seems to actually add up to a disaster. Oh no, the wheels are not able to keep this straight up. That is not good. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, is everything fully expanded? This is not what I wanted to see, but it is what I expected to see. So let's actually retract this bad boy and let's try to observe it a little bit better where things go wrong. You know, it might just be the uneven terrain. However, I want to attach myself a bunch of wheels so that we can kind of drive into a new location and oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, we have to put this thing on a lift. Come on, you go right there. Beautiful. Okay, wheels. Where do we want to attach them? Probably right here. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I'm thinking about having a suspension here. However, we need to raise this up a little bit because at some point we need to be able to turn the wheels, right? So currently this seems to be the front. Then we need to be able to turn these wheels. And I guess it would be good if we could turn these around as well in the back. So right here we're gonna attach a little bit of wood with the suspension, then another piece of wood with the bearing and the wheel right there. Actually we're gonna go with a big wheel. I mean this kind of deserved a big wheel, yeah. <laughs> okay and right here we're gonna attach a bearing first and after that the wood and the spring. Okay, let me quickly do that for all of the wheels. And there we go. Right, next up we are going to need like a, a motor. I guess we could attempt to stabilize it with thrusters actually. However, we're gonna go with a normal motor for the wheels. Now I'm guessing we're gonna need two motors. Let's actually place one right here. Somewhat like this. Yeah, I kind of like that. And we're gonna mirror that on the other side. And we're gonna hook up each of these to the wheels of its respective side. Of course, we have to switch the direction where necessary. Okay, with that in place, we might want to think about the final location of our seat before we hook up everything to the seat. So I'm guessing I'm going to remove this for now, including this button. And I want the seat to be slightly elevated. So maybe let's already go with a little area right here, make this a little bit heavier. Oh, that might actually not be the best idea to make this heavier. But I just want to go with a little area right here that is elevated just a tiny little bit for the seat. Oh, it's looking in the wrong direction. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And then we're gonna have our buttons right here on this panel. It's kind of like a button panel. Beautiful. We have to hook up this button to all of our controllers. And last but not least, we want to hook up the seat to our two engines there. Great. Okay, let's set the engine to not go too fast, maybe three. Now we need to get rid of this thing once again. There we go. Oh no, it is laggy. Not good at all. Oh yeah, it is extremely laggy. Oh, I have an idea. I forgot to hook up the seat to my actual controls here. You see this little bearing there? There we go. This needs to turn around. Gonna do the same thing right here. Please let me do that. There we go. I hooked up the last one. Oh man, it is still laggy as heck. 
So maybe let's get rid of these helper blocks. They could be, you know, kind of in the way of the terrain or something. You know, since we have the wheels now, we don't really need them anymore. Oh, I have another idea why this might be. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we can do it with six wheels. This might just be too much for the game to handle. There we go, let's do something like that. Oh geez, that was a really, really bad idea. Yeah, and there we go, look at that. The frame rate is back. It was really those two wheels that were kind of too much for basically everything. Let's see if we can drive around. Not really, I don't think the motors are powerful enough. Let's go up to five. And voila, okay, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, all we needed to do was make the motors a little bit more powerful. <laughs> Okay guys, all we had to do is make the rotors a little bit more powerful and look at that, everything is working out nicely. <laughs> yeah, we can totally do this, you know, this is kind of an intelligent and flexible system here. Everything is planned out. There we go, we made it, yes, okay. <laughs> Okay, we cannot go too fast. Yeah, we kind of have to go slow. But anyways, here we are in a much flatter terrain. So let's not forget to hook up this button and we are gonna do a little attempt. Just kind of check out how it works out. I mean, so far this is really good, but now it kind of stretches out. Oh, 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 not good, not good. What if we helped it out with a bunch of thrusters? I mean, that could be an idea. So let's actually retract it again. And we are going to attach a bunch of thrusters in order to help us stabilize this vessel. Unfortunately, the bearings don't seem to be just strong enough. The forces are too strong. Okay, right, stabilizing with thrusters. Let's see what we can do. We want at least four thrusters, you know, just kind of pointing upwards and we need to make sure that they are more or less symmetrical. And also we should actually make sure that the vessel itself is symmetrical. So maybe that we are a little bit heavier in the front is actually messing up everything. So we're gonna have like four stabilizer thrusters and they're gonna work on one single button and then we're gonna have four individual thrusters in order to thrust into each direction. Oh, it's gonna be complicated. So let's see, we're gonna keep attaching buttons right here. This button is gonna be responsible for all the upwards thrusters. There we go, and this should kind of release a little bit the strength that the bearings have to endure. You know, just helping make the platform be a little bit lighter. Okay. Oh no, we are actually... Oh no. <laughs> this is not good. We have to find another spot for the thrusters, otherwise we cannot drive. Well, let's first see if the idea works at all. Hook up this button. So button number two is these thrusters. No, no, that was button number one. Yeah, these thrusters. Now, they don't seem to be strong enough at the moment. Let's see if we pump this up a little bit. Will something happen? Yeah. I think we have to pump it up to the maximum. Look at that. You see the, the vessel gets lighter this way. So maybe we can also release the strength and kind of drive a little bit better. Pump this also all the way up. Yeah, this was a really good idea. Well done, Nathan. Well done. Okay, there we go. Now we are gonna hop into here and do the same thing again. And this time, hopefully, we're gonna do a much better job and not tilt. Yes, come on. Oh, 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 yes, look at that. It is actually, it is working out. I mean, so far, we are surely gonna tip over at some point because we don't have, yeah, the sideways thrusters. So now we need to <laughs> kind of get the sideways thrusters in. But this was a much better attempt than before. You have to admit that, guys. Let me actually work on that product for a little bit more. And uh, once I got my head out of the terrain, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I played around with the idea for a little bit and apart from the downwards thrusters, I also added uh, thrusters in each direction so that I'm capable of correcting the direction or any tilt that is occurring. If we cannot control this properly, we might want to go with a gyroscope actually. However, we need a button for each direction and of course we need to hook them up in a manner that makes sense to me. So the first button I think I want to hook up to the backwards thrusters, no, the forwards thrusters. But what I meant to say is the thrusters in the back here, they all have also the maximum strength. And this is gonna be my number three button. Then we're gonna do number four for the thrusters that are getting my vessel backwards again. 
this should be number four and then we have number five let's say for the left direction so number five should actually go right here uh, i have a thruster right here in the back and another thruster right here in the front so this would bring me with number five towards the left that makes sense to me and finally number six of course is going to be the last direction that is left over there we go hook up that to this and that to that and give me that number six button beautiful let's actually test it out so number three should be forwards yes indeed number four backwards kill number five should be towards the left yeah and number six towards the right that is great okay are we now able to actually lift this baby up? Let's find out. I will have to do probably a bunch of corrections. Though at the moment we are climbing the tree here and we are not really tilting over. Oh, we have to move uh, to the left. No, everything is actually working out fine so far. I didn't even have to do any corrections and I think we are almost on the top. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We made it to the top, guys. I actually don't believe this. However, can I drive this thing? I'm just driving very carefully now backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We are tilting. This is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take a right turn. And we're just gonna do this very carefully here. Let's check out the legs. I cannot really see what is happening with the legs. Yeah, we are kind of moving, I'm guessing. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct that. Okay, so maybe we have to also press number three while we are going forwards. Uh-oh. Am I falling? I think I'm falling at the moment. There we go. We we could prevent this issue from happening. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tip over. Uh, number five. Yeah, yeah, number five. There we go. Number three and five. Oh, Jesus. No, don't do this to me. Oh. Crap! Okay! Whew. There we go. We're all good. We're all good, guys. Don't worry. Let's see if we can retract the legs. I don't think this is gonna work out. Yeah, they're gonna get caught into each other. There we go. <laughs> oh, it was my dream! It was my dream to complete this vessel. I'm not gonna give up so easily. Let's try to find a little bit more of a flat terrain so that I don't have to fight with all the, you know, trees and everything. I mean, this part of the vessel is working out great. I love the wonkiness. We're kind of very light at the moment because of the upward thrusters. And we can just make our way through the terrain here. No, that is actually a real bush we cannot go through. But there we go. Yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> This is the wonkiest thing I've ever built, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that can happen. That can also definitely happen. <clears throat> so I guess what we can do is get out of this situation by opening this up. No, no, not really. Maybe pressing number six will help it. No, okay. Yeah, I don't think this is working out. However, I also want to have a look at the extension from the bottom, actually. So we're going to press number two and number one, and then we're going to hop out and kind of check out how this is working out. Yeah, I mean, the entire going up process is actually not too shabby at all, I have to say. Oh, except this wheel. It seems as though there is a bearing turning into the wrong direction. Let's actually check this out. Yeah, this could be an issue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, come on, guys. Is it only me? Okay, it's probably only me. Uh, how do I get this down again? I'm not sure. Maybe we can grab it from here. Oh, yes, that was possible. So there must be something wrong with the bearing here. Yeah, look at this little bugger here. Or no, it was actually this one here. Yeah, there was one single bearing completely wrong. This might have messed with our system too. But yeah, guys, I think what this vessel needs is a gyroscope so that it automatically corrects any tilt that is occurring. But I think for now, I'm actually happy with the results of this bad boy. I just wanted to see if it is possible to actually lift something up this high. So this way you could also make like an elevator structure or any platform that is going up in a controlled manner. I think now all the wheels and everything is turning also the correct way. I mean, at least it looks decent. And in order to make this work, we might actually want to go with different angles. So for instance, this first bearing could look a little bit towards the front. You know, just a tiny bit, maybe five degrees. Let's actually see if we can accomplish this. We want to have this bearing not go 180, but only... Hmm, let's see, I'm pressing shift and I want to drag this down about five. So only 175. 
5 and now it should be facing a little bit towards the front. You know, that at least it has the tendency to look towards the front. I think we're gonna do that. Let's actually try 170 just to see. Yeah, 170 seems to be fine too. Oh, 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 I almost fell down there. Oh man, my platform, I just love it. You can do anything in this game, guys. Let me actually have a bunch of suggestion in today's episode. I want to know what you guys want me to do. I mean, after building the calculator, I think almost everything should be possible. But there we go. I think we got everything now. Yeah, look at that. It looks much more stable. Unfortunately, I cannot zoom more back. However, you can see that the angles are a little bit better. And now if we drive forwards maybe the fluctuation is not gonna be as bad yeah 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 so far so good we look st oh my gosh it is actually working <laughs> we are driving guys <laughs> i don't believe this okay let's see if we can actually fold back in because we just bump into a tree there yeah we're gonna fold back in and try to make our way back down just kind of see how this is working out yeah 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 can we drive while this is happening? Yeah, we can actually drive while this is happening. <laughs> oh no, we are tilting. Ah, uh, I wasn't careful enough. Yeah, now we probably need a system in order to tilt backwards and stuff. But overall, I think the mission is accomplished. Let's actually do it one more time. Just gonna place it right here for now. And we want to hop inside. Press number two in order to drive into another location. Okay, there we go. My goal is to make it over this cornfield while extended on top of the platform. That should be good. We are going to press number one. And yes, indeed, it is working out. Oh, I just love this process. I actually expected this to be much less of a success. I mean, I'm actually really surprised that we are this stable. I mean, look at how we are going up very easily. So this kind of making the platform lighter. Oh, oh I, I forgot the shortcut. Yes, this is the right one, but I pressed it too late. Oh no, how embarrassing. I was just talking about the success of you and now you disappoint me in such a manner. No, it is actually my own fault for not paying attention. I mean, I didn't use the thrusters. So definitely we need a gyroscope because I'm a lazy bastard and don't pay attention. But there we go. Let's do it one more time. We are gonna go up and this time I'm gonna watch more carefully. I'm already having number five button ready because it seems as though we have a tendency to go, you know, towards the right side, but I can just, you know, tap number five every now and then in order to make it stable again. And I think we have made it almost all the way up. Oh yeah, we are almost as tall as this tower. Well, not really, but we are really tall and stable. Let's actually go ahead and drive this thing on top of the platform. Come on, be careful, Nathan. All the bumps and chicks and giggles here. Okay, so far so good. We are tilting a little bit. We are helping it out. Number three and five, number six. Uh oh, oh, please keep stable, man. Yeah, I think we got it. We got it stabilized again, so we're gonna move forwards. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Number four, 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 four. No, three, five, six. Okay, we need a fucking gyroscope because I'm not capable of remembering the directions of my thrusters. Okay, nobody said it's gonna be easy to steer around the tallest car. There we go. Okay, let's try to actually move forwards using the thrusters. No, we have to kind of steer around here. Okay, I'm tilting again, aren't I? Okay, what's wrong with my wheels here? No. No, yeah, look at that. Yeah, push them forwards. Yeah, come on, wheels, you can do it. No, oh, 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 don't flip over. I just want to get on the platform here. Okay, move on top of the platform there. Yeah, 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 and that is good, that is good. Uh, not good at all, not good at all. Yeah, I'm helping it out with the backwards thrusters. I'm helping it out with the thrusters number five. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let go of the backward thrusters. Oh, actually, I made it this time. I made it better, guys. Did we make it? No, we didn't make it on top yet. Oh, jeez. We have to help it out with the backward thrusters while we are moving forwards here. So I have to press number three and W at the same time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, don't let go of number three. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, you see my back wheels? Yeah, we, we can do this. We can do this. I'm not gonna let this end in a wonky episode. Come on. Oh no, I jumped out of the freaking seat. Why would you do that? No. Okay, 
I declare this a success. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.